Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, we're going to be covering tuples or tuples and lists. Two very important concepts to be able to store values and in a variable and be able to reference that those set of elements uh, that, that you've saved in that value. And you'll see that in some instances you could use these interchangeably, in some instances you can't. So tuples, let's start with that one. Again, the central concept is that you can store a list of elements in a variable that you can reference later. So if we were to go ahead and get started with this, let's store a variable called tmonth. And I want it to be able to reference each of the months. So in this case, I'm going to go January, or I want a list of them, February, and I wanted March. Nothing too complicated here. And if I were to print tmonth, so a, a tuple is encased in a bracket and then separated by commas. They can either contain strings or they can contain integers, numerics, uh, any of that manner. So there you go. Then you'll see here, now this is team month. What I can't do with a tuple or tuple is be able to modify it once I've assigned it. So here I can't add in April, for example, or remove February. The only thing I can do is create a new tuple or tuple and then be able to reassign it and then reassign it. But that's essentially creating something from scratch again, as opposed to in a list, which is pretty similar at first what we're going to show you. It instead cased in a square bracket. So it's going to copy this value up here. Then I'm going to print L month. And you'll see the outputs look very similar. But the a huge difference, I wouldn't say arguably the main difference, is that you can append to this list. So here I can add April, and then it's going to add to the end of the list. So if I were to print that, you should see that April is now included which is really useful. What you can also do that applies to both tuples and lists is that similar as we covered out in variables is that you can actually include or indicate which, um, which, which element do you want to include. And again, it starts with uh, zero. So this would be zero and this would be one, this would be two. So if I want to print out just March, there, there you go. So I can just go two. And similar to the variable lesson as well is I can go, for example, one comma two, and that should just give me again. It does that less than or equal to the first element or first numeric in this case, but less than the second one. So it should just give me. Oh, okay. So it didn't like that because I misspelled print there you go should just give me this uh, the second element right because this is zero this is one this is two and then this is three but it always does less than but for example if I wanted everything but the fourth element here I can go colon three right because it's gonna give me zero it's gonna give me one it's gonna give me two zero one two but not give me three so everything just before it so you can see how this is going to be a really powerful and useful technique that you can use and apply in your in your python code and when we get to web scraping it's going to be a really useful and a common technique that we're going to be applying so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave it in the comment section below uh, if you thought this video was helpful feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time thank you